and welcome to Travelling Everard. Um, today I'm in Rotherham in South Yorkshire and I've just done a site visit but I wanted to have a quick look at the uh, old football stadium Millmore which is uh, the spiritual home of Rotherham United. Um, they left this stadium in 2008 and moved to a nice shiny all-seater stadium called the New York City Stadium I think it's called or something like that. We're going to have a look at that after, but I'm going to have a quick look now at the stadium. As you can see, it's a, it's quite a strange one, this one. So, like I said, they left in 2008, and they've never found anyone to take up tenancy since. I think from what I've read online, it's now used for youth team football. So at least it's still being used. But hopefully we can get some sort of footage from inside the stadium and see what we can do. But look at, look at this alleyway down here. I can imagine back in the day there'd have been a few fights along here between rival fans. But it's very rare that you get a stadium that's uh, still there to today, having been vacated for so long. Normally it would be uh, knocked down for housing or some sort of redevelopment. But yeah, this has uh, certainly got some character. You can still see the um, old sort of tannoy system there. Back in the day, that look at the floodlights as well. It really is uh, pretty old school, which I absolutely love. I'm not sure who owns this land, I'll let you know in the uh, description for the video. But I think that from what I gather, there's some sort of planning issues, hence why nothing's ever happened to the land that it currently occupies. So this, I presume here, would have been the old turnstiles for getting into the ground. Still got CCTV. And this is, I can't see, it's all absolutely flooded along here. I can't see anything in. See, there's some toilets would have been there. Some system in operation. You've got the old barbed wire fence in there. Don't know if what I can film from under here. under there at all. There's a little gap here actually. This looks like it's actually the railway line now. So I need to head round to the other side. Looks like scrap. This is a scrap metal um, junkyard by the looks of it. And I think these are the good people that actually own the stadium or the land that's where the stadium it's currently. Rotherham United were founded in 1925 um, and nicknamed the Millers. Um, and we're currently in Millmore, which is the name of the old stadium here. From what I can see, it used to hold around about just over 8,000. So, not a bad side stadium. So, this is the old front here to the stadium RUFC but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in at all which is a shame if I go up here I might be able to get a view of the old ground but yeah it's a shame to see it decaying like this Car park, and I can actually see the stand here behind the goal, which is 
quite good. I didn't think I was going to be able to see anything, so I'm actually quite pleased here. Let's go a bit further up. So that's the sort of scrap metal place that I could see earlier. There's the side stand. But yeah, it's actually not in bad condition, considering they left in 2008. So you can see there the stand, the booth, what's that say? CF Booth, Booth Limited, which is a scrap dealership, which I presume is all this place over here. But you can see, even now, Rotherham is quite an industrial sort of town. But yeah, oh, so that's beyond the goal there then. And that's the side stand. If I go up a little bit further, maybe I might be able to see beyond the other goal. But yeah, it's just really, I love this. But yeah, you can still see all the seats are in place. But yeah, the pitch isn't actually in that bad a condition either. I think maybe one day I should try and come down here when the ground's open for a, for a game or something. But you can see all the smoke from the factories in the background there. Um, but yeah, the classic style floodlights as well. But yeah, it's great to say that it's still standing. I think I'm gonna head over to the um, new ground now and just see what that's like whilst I'm here. It was literally just the other side of the road. So, a two minute drive away, probably about a five minute walk away, we are at the new stadium for Rotherham. So you can see it's a derelict factory here. And the town centre's just there, so it's a prime location actually. But yeah, this is their new stadium, the New York Stadium. So when they left Millmore, they spent a couple of seasons at um, an athletics stadium um, in Sheffield. And then they, whilst this stadium was being built. As you can see, it's a complete contrast to their old ground, which you can see in the distance there with the floodlights. So this is um, a plan for the stadium here. So we're, we're currently here. But the, this ground is an all-seater stadium that holds around about 12,000, so slightly bigger than Millmore. I really like this uh, club badge they've got. The RUFC and the mill symbol on top of a football. But these must be some of the uh, Rotherham legends from over the years. So I think this must be the railway line down here which is again because it's right in the town it's actually quite convenient for um, away fans and home fans alike but yeah it's a it's a really nice stadium actually but if you ask me I do prefer the old school grounds so there must be some office spaces here as well then, because a company called Mears are in here. This is the, uh, the ticket office. But let's uh, go around the other side and see what we can see. So this is the, the club shop then. Scarf's now £5. decent price. So some of the trophies that they wear over the years. Nationwide Football League runners up in 2001.
Yeah. This must be the kits they do play in red, actually. Here's some of the uh, club legends from over the years. Ronnie Moore. Do you remember Ronnie Moore? Moore as manager, though. He was the manager when they were at the old stadium. At Millmore. Not sure what's in here. Offices and stuff. I tried the doors, but they're all sort of access controlled, so I can't actually get in. But I'll walk around the perimeter and uh, see if we can get any view of the stand or within the stadium. So, this is as close as I think I'm going to get to seeing within the stadium today. But as you can see, you can see the, the seats here. But yeah, it's a nice stadium actually. But thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all again soon.